my subscribers and potential subscribers. Una good? Alright, my good too. Guess what? Today in my kitchen we'll be making banana nut bread with cranberry. Yeah, I know I never hear them nice miss them before, but guess what? So then I'm going to show them. We need three ripe bananas, a quarter cup of melted butter, 50 grams of roasted almond chopped, 50 grams of dried cranberry, two eggs, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, three quarter cups of brown sugar, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, we need something to mash our banana, a spatula and a balloon whisk. And we need a baking dish, a strainer to sieve our dry ingredients, and two cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of cinnamon powder. So, we're going to mash our banana. Are you ready for riddle number three? What kind of table has no legs? <laughs> Is that possible? Well, you will see. Leave your answer in the comment section and I will give you my answer in the next video. Then combine all your wet ingredients. Your butter, eggs, vanilla extract, You want to throw a quarter cup of oil. Three quarter cups of sugar. Then mix to combine. And we're just going to mix this up. Then we're going to sieve our dry ingredients. Flour, baking powder, baking soda. I'm also going to put some cinnamon powder. Just a, a teaspoon of cinnamon powder. And you see. I need to add a little salt as well. A teaspoon of salt. So you're sieving to get out. You see all those lumps? You don't want that in your in your banana bread. So you're sieving to get rid of the lumps. Then we're going to use our spatula to fold this. Half 
halfway through the mixing you can put in your almond and uh, cranberry Scrape the side of your bowl and mix until everything is combined. Wow, this smells so nice, guys. Coming out of the kitchen, yeah. Smells so good. So this is well combined now. You don't see any dry area in it. We are going to prepare our baking pan. With some non-stick cooking spray, we are going to spray the interior of our dish, all four sides. Then get a piece of um, grease paper, just a little piece to line the bottom, put it inside. Then spray the grease paper as well. Then to get a little piece of paper to clean off the edges of my dish from the cooking spray and then we can pour in our mixture we need to pour the mixture in our baking dish and stop it about three quarter of the dish because this dough needs space to rise so we can get a nice fluffy bread. Give it a quick little shake to help settle our dough. Preheat your oven at 350 degrees and bake this for one hour. When you feel like after an hour, you insert a knife in it, comes out back clean. Then you know you're finished. Last week, I gave you a riddle. That was the riddle, riddle number two. So the answer is pepper. Yeah, especially Jamaican scotch bonnet pepper. You put it in after it come out back out. Check this out, fresh out the oven. You insert your knife. See that? Nice and clean. That is all you know when your bread is cooked. Cool? So just let this cool now. I know you want to follow my riddles and delicious recipes. Just click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss a thing. Check that out guys. Nice and soft. Banana bread straight from the oven. Guys, trust me, you need to try this. And you know what I really love? This is the part that I love. The crust. So you know I'm going to eat the back and the front. Well, two sides. Look at that. Look at how spongy that is. See that? Nice and moist. Look at that. I will leave the ingredients list in the description so go right ahead and check that out when trying this recipe.